Cool. I suppose uh, first the year, Raj, I can just make sure that you can hear me there, all right? You got me all loud and clear? Yeah, all good, Willie. Cool. All right. Well, I suppose, yeah, firstly, can you give us a sense of, uh, yeah, what it's been like your first tour to India? I imagine it's a tour you sort of dreamt about going on. So what's it been like so far? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's from a young age, you uh, watch a lot of cricket on TV and seeing the guys play in India, it's pretty cool. And in all sort of nations that visit there, you always want to get a chance to play in India. And I think it's a, been a pretty surreal experience so far. You have to see how cricket mad everyone is and how much the fans love the game, especially that first T20 was um, seriously special. Yeah, it's a country you've obviously got, you know, pretty strong links with. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, through your parents and their the heritage here and uh, I suppose uh, you, your yeah, uh, visits here in the past, et cetera? Yeah, of course. My So I was born in Wellington, New Zealand, born and bred there. But both my parents are from Bangalore. They lived there until they were like, I guess, mid-20s or early 20s sort of thing. So they grew up in um, stuff here. And then moved to New Zealand. So I was born in New Zealand. So they've been there for like 23 years, maybe, something like that. But yeah, it's uh, and I've kind of visited India a lot, actually. Uh, apart from the recently with COVID and stuff, my dad used to ca- kind of take cricket teams over. So I visited Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Anandpur, all those sort of areas to play cricket, which has been an amazing experience. Yes, I suppose it's probably equally special for for your family and your parents for you to be on a tour here as well as for you. Yeah, so I guess it's always it's nice to them like any time you get to play for your national team it's amazing but i guess maybe against india makes a bit of difference for them yeah cool and just lastly for me before i pass it over to vishesh um yeah you weren't probably expecting to be playing in a t20 can you talk us through the uh the day uh, getting the call up and then uh playing what, the, what was that like yeah it was a bit it was a bit crazy obviously i've been preparing for a lot of the, the like test cricket uh over the last week or so and uh so niche ended up having a bit of a tummy bug and steady came to me a bus and said, look, you might be playing, so take it a little bit easier at training. I was like, okay, that's a little bit random. And then uh, Kane ended up sitting next to me in the bus. He was like, look, mate, you're playing. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let's get prepared, play some white ball. Yeah, absolutely. And just, just lastly, um, yeah, I mean, you're in the game as well, catching out Rohit Sharma. And what was it like to be out there and, you know, have a full crowd? I imagine it was quite an atmosphere. Oh yeah, it was uh, it was an absolutely incredible atmosphere. Um, haven't played in many games, well, I think that's probably the, the loudest I've ever been at the cricket stadium, and it was uh, quite cool to be there to experience that. You couldn't really hear each other when you're in the field, or even could, could barely hear the keeper when you're next to him. Yeah, no, that's uh, that sounds great, mate. Hey, look, I'll pass it across to Vishesh, and then we can go from there. Thanks, guys. Hi, Rachin. I just wanted to ask that at this time of the year, do you play a big role in Indian pitches? Do, are you guys having any special sessions to tackle the due? I think, obviously, Indian conditions are completely different to what we get in New Zealand, but it is, I guess it is quite hard to uh, tackle the due factor as we don't get sort of night games, but I think it's just about trying to adapt to that. Um, and see what, what we get given. Obviously, the guys in the UAE with T20 World Cup experience, a bit of that. But I think it's just about trying to manage that as a group and understanding what we might need to do differently. And Rajan, my follow-up would be, when the games are so quick and fast, is it easier to forget about the result that happened in the previous game and guys can focus on the challenge ahead? I think, I guess so, in T20 career, it can happen like that. But I think it's important, like, especially for this group, I think the guys have been doing it for a very long time that we do learn from those sort of experiences and whatever sort of challenges that come up against us, we are always trying to get better and always trying to win games of cricket. So in that way, yeah, I guess it is quite a quick turnaround, but we make sure to ensure we're learning from every single win or loss. Thanks, Sachin. Best of luck for the next two yeah. Sorry, can I hear that again? I said thanks. Best of luck for the next T20. Oh, no, cheers. Thank you so much. Cool. We'll go to Koshak next. Koshak? Yeah. Hi. Uh, Rachel, uh, you have seen the Indian spinners in close quarters. Uh, what do you reckon of uh, our Oshin? And have you picked up any tricks from him? Or are we in conversation with any of the Indian cricketers? 
us to get some tips and tricks. For a very long time, and they're um, very like world class bowlers, especially Ashwin. He's got an incredible record and he's been around for a very long time, and his variations are incredible. But now, nah, personally, I have not been in touch with love to pick his brains at any time. But yeah, he's, he's an incredible bowler, and he showed it in that first T20. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, good evening, Rachin. Uh, Niharika Raina, this side. Uh, my question for you is that if, this is a very short T20 series, three games playing, being played over five days. So how do you manage your rest uh, time in such a short period so that you can get yourself fit for the next game? Yeah, it is, um, it is quite a tight, tightly jammed schedule, especially after T20 World Cup and even for those guys. But I think it's, it's about managing that and understanding, look, you might not be able to get as many training sessions in there as you like and stuff, but um, prioritizing your rest and do what makes you, I guess, happy and you can take your mind a little bit off the game, but also trying to manage that and remember that there's still uh, games to go in the series. So I think uh, it's just a balancing act, looking after your sleep and nutrition and everything like that. And um, just know, like, even though you might have not had a good game last time, this, luckily those games are quite back-to-back, -back, so there's always opportunities in the next one. Thanks. Good luck for the next game. Thank you so much. Uh, so my question is, uh, what, according to you, are the strengths of this Indian team and what is the weakness which you would like to exploit in the next T20 Uh I think I think this Indian team is very well-rounded. I think they've got incredible batters at the top and uh, serious power down the bottom and their bowlers have uh, shown in the IPL that they can hit the areas really well and can swing the ball early on. Um, and the new ball and especially the spinners can kind of dictate through the middle. I wouldn't say there's any sort of weakness, but like I said before, they're a world-class team. So I think we, we can't take any of that for granted and stuff. But I think if we play our game, then uh, we should we should be all right. But yeah, they're a pretty good team. Thanks. Um, yeah, uh, Rachi, this is about... Uh... The Indian coach Rahul Dravid, like from the stories which you read about you, uh, your father named uh, you on based on Rahul's name. Like Rachin is a mix of Rahul and such in the story we've heard. Is there any truth in that? And how was it like it's true that Rahul's first match as coach and you were there playing? Did you have any conversations with your father about this match or before or after, like about the whole importance of? This match yeah, there are, there may be some truth behind it, but we don't really we don't really talk it talk about it too much um, these days. I guess uh, in that sense, those two are two amazing players, one of the two greatest cricketers of all time, and I guess uh, at my own sense, I'm and going and backing on my own sort of journey, and I guess I'm my own man. So it's awesome to take inspiration from those two. But like, yeah, these days we don't really talk it about it that much. <laughs> 